Well, it's uh, right at 3 o'clock on Saturday morning. Couldn't sleep, so I thought I'd get up and come out and do some work while everyone else was sleeping. Uh, started working on the gas pumps. Kind of got the back card and the uh, floor uh, or the base put in. I've got to uh, go in and I'm going to cover up the tops and put some greeblies to make them look like gas pumps. Uh, started getting some paint on the on the deck. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Um, going to do some more. Uh, after this dries, I'm going to seal this and then I'm going to come back and do some dry brushing of some lighter uh, grays in some spots there. Uh, do some petrol spills and... Uh, then I'll see what else. I, I know I'm going to scuff up around where the, where the garage door is, the roll-up door, and around the gas pumps, and possibly around the back of the car. But, you know, the thing is, I don't know where the hell the gas tank is on the car. So I don't know where they would fill it up. But uh, we're just going to make do. Yeah, that's uh, working on the base. I'm going to come back in with the airbrush and, and darken up some stuff. I'm going to use uh, Steinle Res when I go to... Go to paint this, I'm going to use uh, Steinle Res Gray and shoot everything, and then I'm going to come back in and do some highlights with black. Uh, that line that you see across the top there, that's where the where the uh, uh, top of it uh, is going to be, and then there's the line that, on the bottom, where it, then the screw holes where it mounts to the back of that. But pulled out some parts from my parts bin. Never throw your spare parts away. Uh, got some more parts there that I'm not going to put anything else on the wall. I think it's it's borderline too busy as it is. Uh, I do have some stuff there that I've got. I'm going to work on the uh, the gas pumps with. Uh, this is just more or less detail here, but that's going to be like a keypad to get in the door. And then uh, every uh, old school gas station had the bell. You know, the air hose run across the the uh, lanes in the pumps and uh, when the car runs across it go ding ding uh, there's the bell for that uh, just junk over the door uh, working on a fire suppression system for the for the uh, pumps themselves but yeah never 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 throw your parts away you never know what you can use them for I forget that's a grill off of uh, I don't remember Buick Riviera I think I'm not sure okay I know it looks like a mess but uh working on the gas pumps and uh let's see if i can get one out of here i don't know why i put it away Working on the gas handles it's going to be the uh there's the gas hose and the handle for the fuel pump and i've been finally got a little color on the back wall still got a lot to do to this but uh we're getting there um, probably next I think I'm going to start filling in some of the lights there okay I bit the bullet and started putting the epoxy in the tail lights I'm going to put just a tad more in them but uh, I mixed up way too damn much epoxy wasn't thinking just squirted two big dollops out and added my red paint and started mixing it together and it's one of those oh crap moments but uh, I said I'm gonna put a little more in there and live and learn. I should have known this. I've I've done this several times using epoxy like this. But and this is the uh, method that I'm gonna do with uh, when I put the uh, in the windows. The windows will be painted black once I get them sanded smooth. The windows will be painted black, and I'll just mix this up. And it's it's thin enough that when you you put it, get some on the toothpick that you can turn it up. And it'll drop right off. Of course, this is starting to set up. So I'm going to go ahead and get I some I have got in a there. fly out here that's driving me insane. But look at that. Couldn't ask for anything better on that, man. Look at those. Turned out great. Got a couple of little air bubbles, but that's that's okay. We'll deal with that. Yeah, just start filling these others. Yeah, I got some scuff marks on my fender there. And... That big old gouge right across the fender there that I got to patch up. The uh, file came out of the hole and went right across the fender. Yeah, got a few little boogers I got to take care of. But yeah, I'm I'm tickled about those taillights. Just about got the pumps where I want them. 
I've still got to add the hose. Uh, it's going to have twin hoses. You can see the holes here. That's where the hose is going to come out. And uh, my little homemade uh, gas handle. And but look at this. This is what I like. I got the windows filled in. Or the windows. The lights filled in. I got uh, a little bit of a hiccup right there. You can see then that. that pillar between the two headlights the uh, I had to drill those two out because they were not uh, not right um, and then uh, but I got them all filled out that's where was it uh, I got a little maybe it's on the other side I got a little hole there I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is drop future in that to see if I can get that leveled out uh, and I got a couple of holes back here if I can get this thing to focus but uh yeah, right there. I'm going to put, uh, we'll fill that that light or that lens up with uh, future and see if it'll level out. So, but all in all, pretty good. Oh, just about dropped it. And then you can see when uh, it will have headlights and I got a bubble. No, oh, no, no bubbles. Well, that one's going to have to have a bubble. Because I, I had to drill those, you know, the two on the had to redrill these two out. That's why the the drill bit jumped across there and gouged that. But that's no biggie. I'll uh, fill in with a little bit of a um, bondo. So Okay, I'm out here in the cold. Uh, this is Wednesday, almost noon. Uh, even though it's not as cold as you know some of you guys uh, have, and I know, but uh, it's cold to me. It's been getting down in the low 30s. I got below freezing there last night, uh, and it's it's just 46 today. You know, I'm getting old, and and the cold is getting to me. But I'm out here doing just a little bit. Uh, it's going to be kind of a short update. Uh, but here's what the gas pumps look like. Uh, that's uh, pretty much where they're going to uh, going to be. That that one pump handle will be down in further, but uh, having trouble getting the hose to stay in there. Uh, in the this other part in there, but it'll be glued in. So those are ready to uh, paint and detail. And you've seen I got all the all the. Uh, lights filled in I started uh, working on the taxi sign here uh, then over here started working on the overhang for the for the fuel depot oh and uh, I got these I got these are the light blocks for the put the LEDs and I got one there and I got one there that's the one for the back uh, just a little bit more detail painting here I got the bell in uh, yeah, just a little bit more detail painting there. I was going to try to clear coat um, or flat coat the uh, platform, but man, it's just too damn cold. I got my candle warmer there, and I was going to warm up my flat coat, but uh, with it being cold, what and the way it works for me is if the item that I'm going to shoot uh, paint on or clear coat on, if it's room temperature, and then I warm my paint up like I'm doing here, then I have no issues, but that being warmed up and then uh, moving around slowly and not trying to make you dizzy or anything. But the landing platform there, uh, or the dock or whatever, uh, that is cold. It's been out out here in the shop, so it needs to be room temperature as well. And so I'm not going to be able to. I went to Hobby Lobby and got my paint. This is the uh, um, what is this? <laughs> Uh, this is the uh, yellow, uh, uh, chrome yellow. I'm gonna try that. If if uh, I'm gonna shoot one coat on it, if it if it don't turn out like I want it, I'm gonna put just a little bit of red in it to uh, darken it up just a bit, give it more of a uh, not an orange but a burnt, like a burnt yellow, go a little deeper, uh, kind of like an uh, I guess an insignia yellow, but uh, 
yeah it's just too damn cold to be out here and cold and you're drinking a cold drink yeah i'm not smart but uh i'm gonna try to get a little more done this like i said this might be a short update this week yep, i think that one led will work quite nicely i just got to make the hole big enough there to cram those in i didn't want to make the hole that big but i guess i'm gonna have to and it's got a hot spot in it uh it's not as bright as it's showing on screen so it'll work well i got the base flat coated and i got the rod i, I drilled all the way through the, the taxi and then into the base there and i got it mounted you can see the rod here Oh, there's plenty of room inside so I don't have to worry about how much it's sticking up and I'm thinking that I might lower the taxi just a little bit more seems like it's hovering but these these thrusters here on the front may not allow me to I don't want to go too low I don't want to look like it's sitting on the ground otherwise I should have just glued it to the ground or glued it to the base but um working on still working on that little spot there I uh, keep sanding more off of it than what, what it needs to be. But uh, we're getting it. Well, I think I got the base where I want it. Just got to glue everything together. Got a light up under there. You can barely make it out. Right there. I haven't... I got the wires run. I just haven't got it uh, hooked up. That's not glued. Uh, so I got to glue everything together. But yeah bad part about her doing all the work on this base the car covers it up that's why i got the car turned around this direction because if i spin it back the other way it seems like it covers even more so i guess i don't know but uh now that the base is uh pretty much where i want it and you can see i've done some done some uh wear and tear on there and around to the back of the car you can see the so but now the base is done we'll concentrate more on the car well been working on the taxi got the windows filled in with the uh, two-part epoxy the uh, front windshield is not quite where I'd like for it to be uh, but I'm gonna leave it I wish uh, in this bottom corner here wish that was a little better but uh, I went in, I filled it, that's a second filling on it, and I guess I should have flooded more into this, this part of it, but it's, it's fine. Um, got the side windows look good. Back window looks really good. And these side windows look good. Uh, that driver's window, or the front window there, that's the uh, second time I've done that. I had to uh, pull it out of there and actually repaint the black in there again but uh check this out i use the uh this two-part epoxy to do all the lights and all the windows and uh, look at the levels on it now that that's just eyeball measuring too so uh come out uh, pretty decently yeah uh oh but um anyway this is where I'm going to leave it. I may be able to do a little work over the weekend like I did this past weekend. Uh, if I do, I do. If I don't, then uh, I'll pick this up on Monday. But uh, shouldn't uh, shouldn't be too much longer. This should be the last. Uh, this coming week should be the last of it. Uh, all I have left to do is uh, wire up my LED tape. And uh I'm going to paint, paint everything, prime it, paint it, and then start putting lights and stuff in it. So, I say uh, this next week should be the... Starting to mask everything off for the taxi. Getting ready to uh, shoot it with a primer. And uh, I had, a little while back, I invested in a vinyl cutter. And let me tell you, it's for... Uh, jobs like this or or uh projects like this now the windows i could have made masks for the windows but it was just easier for me to use my tomato tape tomato 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 um but the blue on the headlights and stuff and you can barely see a blue tint on the on the red uh, all those are masks from that right there that i made and uh 
you don't have you know if you have your own vinyl cutter you know if you're going to do a lot of masking and stuff like this you know all you got to do is just make you a little uh template and i had one here i don't have it with me uh i'll get it but uh just lay down a piece of tape and do you know how when uh, when you were in school you know, you'd take the like you lay down a, a piece of tape over something and you take your pencil and, and rub across it and that's all you do there and you get your outline and then you can transfer that to the to your vinyl cutter software and create the shapes and uh, it saves a lot of money you don't have to succumb to uh, buying other people's masks uh, because it does you know and i'm not knocking that because you know it, it does take a little bit of work to get it but you can do your own projects you don't have to wait uh, just like this, you know, I don't think there's any masks for this, uh, but, you know, yeah, you'd have to wait uh, for them to send them to you, and, you know, you're waiting a week or whatever. When I made these masks, it probably took me 30 minutes to uh, to make the masks and everything for the these uh, lights and all. Like I said, I could have made them for the windows, but it was easier just to tape it, but, yeah. So getting ready to uh, shoot primer on there and see where we're at. So, and uh, I'm going to use um, uh, a different primer. That is, the black is um, um, Stino Res. And I don't know if it's the with the um, resin here. Where that is chipped off there, that is where I put the Tamiya tape over to uh, mask off the windows. And you can see it pulled it up and pulled it up there too. Uh, not so much there. But I want a primer that's going to hold on to it, um, and I've you know I've not really had any issues with uh, the Stanley Res uh, primers, but you know that has been cured for several days, and it shouldn't have peeled up like that. So that tells me if you know uh, when I uh, paint this, you know if I prime it with Stanley Res uh, right along the top of this line here, I've got to mask off for for a white stripe. Uh, so I can put the uh, the checkerboard stripes on there. So that makes me curious, you know, if I use Stinyl Res Primer and I mask that off and I peel the, the mask up, is it going to yank the paint off of it? And I don't, you know, if I use uh, a Krylon Primer, you know, I prime everything, okay? But if I use a Krylon Primer, it will adhere to this a whole lot better than what, you know, to me, than what the... Uh, the Stinyl Res uh, acrylic primer did. So I don't want to take a chance on peeling the, the paint up off this. And it may not, but I don't want to I want to take a chance on it. So here is what we're looking like after primer. Got a good base to uh, start laying down some color. So that will be next up on the agenda. I got uh, got my LEDs, LED tape uh, soldered up and it's ready to go and I've been experimenting with the lights and that um, but I like to say the next thing up is I'm going to start laying some color down on it okay got the uh, yellow on it and I got one little hiccup right there and I got to go back in and touch up with a little bit of white paint and that, that ridge will uh, be knocked down you, and you won't see it because of the decal that's going to be there but uh kind of apprehensive about masking on this this resin because it's been washed and sanded and you can see that it, it stuff just doesn't want to adhere to it that's white primer that's on there so had a little trouble with the stino res when i masked off the windows and then you can see a little hiccup right there but like i said i can touch that up but uh I got one more uh, masking time to do it, and I got to. I'm going to um, mask it and paint the bottom half gray again, all around that grill there in the top edge of that where that white is. I'll because uh, all that's supposed to be. Uh, I'm going to uh, hit it with um, uh, primer, and then I'm going to hit, hit it with the gunmetal that way it's supposed to be. But yeah, the uh, yellow looks good on it. Okay, got all the paint on the taxi. I've got a few little touch-ups to do, like right there. I've got to touch that up. Um, it seems like that uh, front driver's corner, because I had the 
the paint peel off right there and I've got to fix that and then I got uh, my masking tape didn't go down because I, I was very very reluctant to press the masking tape down tie it against it and so I, I just gotta go back in and touch that up I'm gonna go in here and touch up around this with the yellow that was hard to mask I had to take a bunch of little pieces of tape and go around it and uh, it kind of kind of bled under but I was I didn't think I went that heavy but I guess I did so um it's ready for clear coat uh, I'm gonna let the I just sprayed the uh, the gunmetal on it and then, yeah it does look a little dark but uh, and I'll show you what I used and find it there it is uh, gunmetal gray uh, metal color that's what I used on it uh, it is a little dark as well as uh, I shot that part too but uh it will be perfectly fine when I get that checkerboard on there, or checkerboard stripe, and get the masks off the windows. Still got to finish the hole for the for the sign, but uh, all in all, uh, it's it's about ready. As soon as the uh, paint sets up on on this, I'm gonna peel the masks off the off all the lenses, because I don't care. You know, when I when I flat coat, I don't I don't want the flat coat to dull the shine that's on the glass. But uh, as far as as far as these uh, little lights here, I is you can't really dull them so it doesn't really matter and then so I thought I had a booger right there but yep there it is all right I went back in uh, you really can't tell in this light is a little a little bright but I went back in and I uh, done some pre-shading uh, all around the fender lines and the hood lines and the, and the front edge at the top and around just different spots do uh, give it a little wear and tear um what i sprayed it with first was a the brighter color was a uh, krylon uh yellow uh sun yellow and then i come back in after i've done the pre-shading i've done the pre-shading with gray uh, actually the gray stinyl is and then i come back in with uh if it'll focus on it the uh chrome yellow it turned out to be the the uh color i was looking for just got lucky on that one and there goes the compressor. Okay. Um, but I wanted to point out something. You know, it's it's still kind of cool here in Florida. Um, I use that candle warmer right there to uh, warm up my cans of paint uh, before I, you know, the rattle cans. You can also warm these up. You have to watch these a little more carefully. But uh, when, you, when you're living in uh, colder climates and, you know, warm paint sprays better. So if you warm it up, like say, I use that candle warmer, I just, well, I'll go over here, <clears throat> plug it in, and I just set it right on there, and then I go back to doing whatever I was doing, and then a little bit later, I'll come back, and, and I'll shake it up, put it back on there. Now, if you grab it like this, you'll feel the warmth in that in that paint. Uh, when, when it feels uh, warmer than room temperature, it's time to bring it off there, and it will spray extremely well. Uh, it's a given fact that... Uh, cold paint is a it's thicker and it it wreaks havoc on airbrush and as well as uh, spray cans too so um, so I get that masking tape off of it and get back to the lighting well I got the decals on it and uh, yeah, I have to say it's looking uh, pretty good uh, I'm going to let the decals dry in and then I'm going to flat coat it and then I'm going to uh, I still got to put the LED which is right here down through the top and uh, I got to finish up the taxi sign and then I've got all, uh, all I have left to do is just glue the top half because it's not not glued together just have to uh, I'm gonna take uh, two part epoxy the uh, 30 minute stuff there uh, it's, uh, use what I got left and run me a bead around the inside of the bottom part of it because the top overhangs the bottom so I'm gonna run uh, run a uh, bead him a beady a bead around the bottom of it there and then set it down and get it in into position and then leave it alone i got the led up front the uh, amber led or yellow led um after i get it get it flat coated i'm going to uh, uh peel the masks off the windows um what i think i might do is i think i might hit it with a satin and see how i like that first uh, i may may leave the uh, satin coat on it uh, if i don't like it then i can always hit it with a flat as long as i do it before i take the masks off but uh 
Like I say, the next thing on the agenda is just let those dry in, and I'm going to hit it with a satin coat. Meanwhile, I'm going to uh, take this inside and print up my uh, taxi sign. I'm either going to print it on regular paper, or I may print it uh, on, um, I've got some uh, sticker paper uh, that I may, may print it up on. I don't know yet, but we'll see. All right, this is the uh, final on the taxi. Uh, got it all finished up. Got a couple little uh, spots that uh, didn't turn out quite like I wanted them to, but uh, I can uh, live with it. I really, really like this build, really enjoyed this build. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, switch the lights on. One thing is that I, I wish that uh, the headlights were a little brighter, and I'll turn, uh, let's see, I'll turn this one off. Yep. I wish that the headlights were a little brighter, uh, but I can live with that. I don't didn't want them overly bright, but uh, I wanted them a little bit brighter than that. The uh, tail lights come out pretty good. And uh, you can see the, the tail lights up here. I'll go ahead and switch that off. So it's not too bad. I'll uh, take the uh, camera off the tripod here and uh, show you what's going on. But yeah, the uh, the headlights, uh, the, the strip LED that I put in there. Uh, I wish I'd lowered it just a little bit because when I put when I was test fitting it, uh, they were shining good. But then when I put the bottom in, uh, it kind of nudged the. Uh, the, the little housing that I made it nudged it up a little farther, but uh, like I say, it's it's perfectly fine. Um, done the epoxy on the windows and got all the decals on it, and uh, like I say, the, you know, the the lights are looking a little saucy, but uh, that you can't you can't see them. Uh, you can see the bulbs there, but uh, hot spots, but uh, you can't see it in in. Uh, person and then I got the tail lights up here. That's uh, fiber optics. Um, I want to say yeah, that's one mil fiber optic. Uh, fiber optic. I can't even talk. Uh, here you can barely make it out. I've done a oil or not an oil spill, but like a fuel spill from the from the fuel pumps, and then uh, up underneath. And I used all spare parts like the uh, the light housing. That is an airplane wheel turned upside down. That's all that is. And uh, you've seen all the parts that I put on the on the wall and everything. So that's it. Uh, had a lot of fun, like I say, and uh, going to get started on the next build. So.